and it takes both parties to come to the table. Strategic partnership can be a whole day lesson for you. Lots of information available to you on that. But when utilized to their full potential, the executive assistant supports their manager throughout the day, asserting and inserting themselves. If you're using a highlighter, please highlight those two words, inserting and asserting themselves at every opportunity. When I was supporting the CEO, I never set for myself a goal of being one step ahead. Wasn't going to happen, and I would constantly feel like a failure. It just wasn't possible. And goodness knows I didn't want to fall behind, because if you fall behind, it, there's so much stress, catching up, mistakes. My goal was to be in step, in step with him every step of the way. That's what we mean by a strategic partnership. So what I've done for you here now is we're going to take that executive's day and we're going to try and figure out where you can insert yourself so that you can now insert and assert yourself into their day. We've divided it into three buckets. Time management, organizing, planning, and overseeing the executive's day. Can you think of something here that you might be able to do? One example that always comes to mind is their calendar. You manage their calendar, but you're going to do it in a holistic manner. You're going to make sure that the right people are in the meeting. You're going to make sure the right materials are available. You're going to make sure the meeting that happens before the meeting makes sense and after the meeting. Do you see? Oftentimes, I would see executives running around from meeting to meeting to meeting, not having a time even to go to the bathroom or eat. They would have one meeting in building A, another meeting in building C, no time put in there. That's what we mean by holistic. So again, time management. Is there a way you can insert yourself into their day and help them manage their time? The other bucket is task management. This comes around prioritizing and what I call process sizing. Or better still, get in there and pull that task away from them. Tell them that you can do it and give them time back in their day. That might be tracking deliverables that were assigned out of a meeting. It might be giving them the tools that they need to keep organized. For example, um, expense reports. That might be completing a spreadsheet for them. Just give me the data or maybe give me the data and let me put together your PowerPoint or at least take a first pass on it. So do you see how that could work for you? That's task management. And then finally, the last bucket, people management. It's that connecting and coordinating the executive assistant is the eyes, ears, and face of the executive. Remember how I had you star emotional intelligence, the EQ, the reading a room? This is where you can insert yourself. Read the room. Let them know if maybe one of their colleagues um, has an anniversary, has someone in the hospital. How did they do uh, at the latest presentation that they did? Read the room for them. Most importantly here, 